Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author, and welcome back to my quilting room. Today, we're gonna do a really fun project. We're gonna start getting ready for the holidays, and I'm going to teach you how to um, stitch out this awesome pillow. Now, I did this yesterday, and it had a lot of, um, a lot of interest, and also, I had a lot of questions about how I did it, so I'm going to show you. So yesterday, I stitched this out um, with my embroidery machine, and I did this on cork fabric. So I am going to show you how to make this adorable cork pillow. I am going to be using um, a different design, of course. We're gonna use a holiday design by Creative Fabrica. I will link down below in the description box to the designer and where you can um, get that design. Um, and I just used some scrap uh, fabric that I had for the backing, and I had some polyfill, and I filled that in there. I'm gonna show you how I did this from start to finish. You will need some cork fabric. Um, cork fabric can be purchased at your local um, Joann's or Hobby Lobby, any of the craft stores carry this. Um, it is a little bit on the pricier side, but it turns out amazing and you can do so much with this. It is a little bit of a thicker product, but it's a lot of fun to sew with. And so I'm just gonna turn the camera, we're gonna get started and you'll see how cool it is. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hoop my, um, my cork fabric. Now I am using a tearaway stabilizer. This is a medium weight stabilizer. I have this link below in my description box to my, um, my Amazon store. And I have all of the items that I use for embroidery and sewing, quilting, and all that good stuff in it. A lot of extra stuff in there too. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna be, hopefully this will, now we're we're nice and taut and you can hear it's kind of like a like a drum there it's nice and tight I'm going to tighten my screw although it is pretty tight so I don't think I need to all right now we're ready to go over to the machine and get started stitching out our design okay so I've already loaded the design in here I've got this on the uh the um hooping arm and we are going to just go ahead and start stitching out our design. First, I'm gonna do a test to make sure that everything fits in here. It looks like we're good to go that way, so I am just gonna go ahead and just start. Now I'm only gonna use one color for this design.
All right, so our design is done and we're gonna do some trimming of the little jump stitches. This one didn't have very many jump stitches, but it did have about three of them. You can see those jump stitches are right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just give those a little trim off and clean up my design. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of the hoop. And I am going to just tear away my stabilizer on the back. Now, there are loose threads on the back that you could trim, but we're just gonna make this a pillow, so we are not going to be concerned with this. And also, this cover is not going to be washable, just so you know. So we're just gonna use our tear away, and we're just gonna tear away what we can here nine and a half inch square ruler and you can do the same thing if you have one or if you want to measure at a different length you can do that i'm going to just kind of center this in the center of my de design here i'm just eyeballing it really but um i just want to make sure i'm going to have enough room You should have something that looks like this in the square that's pretty square there okay and now I'm gonna take some of this beautiful snowflake fabric that I had that I actually purchased last year and I still have some here so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut some of that So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put these right sides facing each other. Now you could press that if you want to, but I'm not going to, because um, I really don't think there's a need to at this point. So we're gonna take some clips. I'm going to clip the top here. This is gonna be my opening for stuffing the pillow. I want to leave it a little bigger since we're going to be stuffing this and we're going to have to hand sew it closed. So, right here, and I'm going to sew all the way around until I get to this clip up at the top, and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to backstitch, and then we will continue making our pillow. All right, so I've trimmed those corners. So you just wanna give those a quick little trim. It helps when you're going to flip your design inside out. And I am going to kind of just push those seams and push them down because they are a little bit stiff. So you just pull it back like that and then you push it back. And it helps those seams to lay nice and flat. And I will also do this to my top here, even though I have that opening there. All right, now I'm gonna take some polyfill and I am just going to stick that inside of here and stuff my pillow. And now we're ready to close this up. So 
I am going to just kind of give that a tug and that helps this to fold on itself as you're seeing right here. So I'm going to continue to do that here. I'm going to hand sew it and I will be honest, I don't do the nicest of hand sewing jobs and it's okay. It gets the job done. But what I really like about the cork is that it doesn't really matter because the stitching disappears in the cork. And I think you're gonna see what I mean here in just a second. I am using matching thread that matches the cork. It's a tan colored thread. And I am just going to get this all set up. see what I'm doing here but I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to just put a stitch on the inside to hide my knot just like that to hide my knot all right so I'm just doing a quick little whip stitch so I'm just going in here oops in here and out and then again in I mean it really is nothing fancy now you can try and do a ladder stitch with this I don't like to do a ladder stitch with cork um, cork is a little bit thicker to sew through and when you're hand sewing can hurt your fingers. You should probably use a thimble, um, but I'm not gonna for video's sake. So you just wanna come in and then just, well, if my thread would work with me and pull it through. I'm not the biggest fan of hand sewing. <laughs> And then you just come back in. So like I said, it's just a whip stitch. It's not gonna be a pretty stitch. But you can't really see my stitches. So that's on the front. You can't see them. And on the back, you can't really see them there either. So, I'm going right in here like that. This is what it looks like on the back side. And then I'm just pulling it through. And again, just come right next to that stitch that I just did, pushing that through, pulling it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go off camera and finish doing that but that is how you would finish off your pillow. We're done. Okay, so this is what it looks like up at the top where we sewed it together. I normally do it on the bottom, but I boo-booed and did it on top instead. 
but you can see my little whip stitches there, but they're barely even noticeable. You can't see them from far away. And the three foot rule is, is if you can't see it from three feet away, it doesn't exist. All right, so that's what we have. So this is how you make like a cork pillow. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Um, this is what the back looks like with that snowflake fabric. It's got some glittery stuff going on. So it's actually kind of reversible. So it wouldn't matter. It is a really tiny pillow. This one is, but you could certainly make this at um, a bigger design. And sh the the designer actually does have bigger designs for this one. So I will link to that designer on Creative Fabrica. And if you're interested in this um, particular design, then you can go ahead and pick it up. I think it's adorable. It says, believe in the magic of Christmas. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to share, that's great because sharing is caring. Don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time I upload an awesomely cool new video. And we are quickly approaching 30,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much for your support. Once I hit 30,000, I will be doing an awesomely cool uh, giveaway. If you're interested in the Racoma 10 needle machine, they're still running their Black November sale. So be sure to check out those links down in the description box. If you want to give yourself a wonderful Christmas gift, that would be it. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.